Hello guys, Haroon here. Today we are going to discuss part 5 of Fundamentals of Magento Development from scratch. The topic of today is Magento 2 Architecture. So let's start. In this slide, there are some essential concepts of Magento 2. Every developer should have knowledge of these concepts before start development in Magento 2. The first concept is Magento 2 Develop Modular System. So guys, Magento 2 is a strict modular system which means that in Magento 2 every functionality or business logic is designed and developed in form of modules. It provides more independency mean mo every module can work as a standalone unit and has in minimum dependency on other modules. So let me show you in my Magento 2 installation for better understanding. So my installation is github based so I get my Magento package from github so in, in this installation inside app directory of Magento installation there is a directory of code so inside here is a folder or you can say a namespace of Magento inside this namespace are modules are core modules which are developed by core team and uh, provide basic functionality which you look exist in here so you can say you can see there are different folder uh, like capture catalog the division is basically packages and provides its functional according functionality so let's take a module of catalog it contains all its functionality here so in magento 2 every thing related to a module is exist on its own directory like configurations file are exist in etc controllers models and view files or thing it related to catalog x is exist here so let's see what is next so with this approach Magento 2 modulars are more smaller and functionality is grouped in a logical manner. For example, if you are looking for uh, let's say uh, checkout code, you only have to look checkout code, uh, checkout folder and nowhere else. So the location of core modules can be different. It will, it can be inside your vendor folder or your app app code folder just like me there is not any difference in functionality basically both provide same functionality just some uh, folder structure change use so the next concept in areas in magento 2 areas is a concept in magento 2 which is directly related to magento 2 request process flow Actually area you can say a scope of configurations that allow to load only configurations file and options that are required for a specific request. So for better understanding let's see in text editor. So let's take an example of catalog. There is a user who wants to know detail of a product. So for this Magento 2 request processor during request process uh, during request process comes to magento magento to catalog modules and go to etc folder which contains all configuration related file so you can say you can see there is a folder like admin html front end web api soap etc like this so if uh, if user wants to know details about a product so it request is basically from front end so all files or configuration related to front end is loaded not not other configurations file like admin html or api is not loaded this increase request response time performance and speed of magento 2 application so let's see what is next Typically, this scope 
files have its own behavior and view component typically uh, technically you can say there are six areas in Magento 2 which are admin HTML front end Chrome tab rest web API soap web API a module can contain some of them or depend on functionality all of them areas developers will primarily interact, interact with only two areas which are admin HTML and front end so the next concept is theme in Magento 2 you may have already concept of what is theme so let's study what is theme in Magento 2 Magento themes you can say are a set of files who define who a website will look file like static assets like uh, CSS and JavaScript file so for clear understanding go to Magento installation and look at themes themes are located in inside app design folder so there are two divisions all themes related to admin HTML is located inside this directory and at front end related themes are located inside front end so this is the namespace which is Magento and uh, in Magento namespace there are two themes exist with one is blank and other second one is Luma in this theme you can say a division which is which is module Magento is basically the namespace of module and customer is actually a module so inside this we can say web folder and all CSS files are located in CSS and images uh, is there there is no JS file so in Magento 2 some static files are located inside theme directory and some inside module directory now let's take a look customer module in modulars folder which is app code Magento and this is our customer module where it is right here so inside customer all static files is located in view folder inside view front end files web and all static files existed here why is that some files are exist here and some uh, of this module exist in theme folder it is basically due to general nature of a file so if a file is used in many modules is it uh, is located in theme and the file is purely related to this modules is located and can be placed here so the next concept is layout files in Magento 2 layout files is an other essential concept in the Magento 2 rendering system Magento 2 rendering system is a uh, big topic itself we will study Magento 2 rendering system in upcoming videos so Magento 2 XML Magento 2 layout files are basically a set of XML file that defines which element should be on a page so layout configuration define which block should be present on a page and a block hierarchy let's show layout let's view layout file in text editor so here is my module customer and inside view there is three folders admin html base and front end as name suggested admin html it contains all files related to admin html front end consist of all files which are related to front end and base contains files which which can be used in both admin html and in front end so let's take a, a folder let's say in front end there is a folder of layouts and inside 
you can say XML files. These XML files are basically a layout file which define layout of a template file or a HTML file. So all templates are located in a site templates folder. So the important thing is that layout configuration defines which block should be present on a page and the block hierarchy. So what is block? Block you can say is a special PHP file in Magento 2 that is usually but not always connected to a template. Each blocks generate generated HTML together comprises the whole page. So a block class generates a piece of HTML using its template and layout defines which block should be included on a page. So as you can say in XML file or in XML which is the layout file of customer account session there is some blocks. There is block file which you can find here. We will study how to create block files and what is actually a block file. What is its actu uh, functionality uh, in later videos. For this you can find blocks file here so don't be confused if you don't understand what is layouts and how it's working we will study all these concepts or this process in upcoming videos so for now it is just for the sake of our knowledge file to config files is an other very important concept in Magento 2 request process so we already see that all configuration related file are exist in the etc folder of our modules files like events.xml routes.xml and or acl.xml or many more so what is merge to config file let's take an example a user is on Magento 2 website and send a request to Magento 2 application or type a URL to send request. So to complete this request Magento 2 needs some routes or uh, routes. So Magento 2 request processor go into every modules take the file of xml uh, routes.xml and make a big config file of it which contains all routes from all modules and then process the request with this actually this multi config file becomes a cache file so now when i every user or any user wants to get in uh, wants to process a request magento to request processor go to cache file which is multi to config file and process the request with this approach magento to application is really fast as all routes related files are no exist in a cache file which contains it there uh, in this slide there are two other concepts of magento 2 which are uh, object instantiation or magic you can also say it object dependency is a magento 2 feature when you need a new object you declare it instance it constructor and magento will deliver an instance we will study how magic or uh, dependency injection work uh, so the uh, and uh, other concept is events and plugins which are basically customization techniques in magento 2 events are fired from uh, different places in core code and developer can observe this event each event has parameter which is technical detail uh, we will study events and plugins in more detail in later videos so plugin is an other approach for customization which can add 
specific behavior to any public method of each class for example if you want to add behavior in a function you can change its parameter or uh, change its return type with plugins we will stud uh, study and actually make plugins in later videos so these are some magento to major components we can see in this slide so the configuration uh, we already discuss magento configuration which is also known as local configuration there is also global configuration let me show you in magento installation the global configuration is located inside app folder and there is a etc folder so it uh, config.php file which uh, have the information about modules which module is activated deactivated we already see how magento enable disable a module in previous video or oh, you can get information from there there is a file uh, depend di di environment we, uh, this env file contains all information about database credential etc the di file is basically dependency injection which we study in in detail in later videos there are other files which we will see in next videos so the next one is framework framework files know what are framework files framework is a low level code not related to features and business logic framework define how the whole system work for example interaction to the database url processing logging and remote request to tools let's take a look to the framework files in my installation frameworks files are located in lib your can be different depends on installation inside lib internal magento framework these are all framework files the last one but not least is dev which is uh, which include dev tools like scripts and tool that assist a magento developer for example a testing modules would be loaded here so that's all for today thanks for watching